YouTube model train 9500 here. Two minutes after I ended the last video, I got it in and uh, it's all good and happy now. It's going to be a pain when I have to take it back apart to put the back of the rear bulb in, but for now, this will be good enough. So, as you can see here, I got the light installed. And I'd say it looks pretty nice. So, now I'll go over putting it all back together. So go back here to your little cradle you got. And on your other locomotives, you're going to need to put your frame pieces back in. Although on this one, those aren't there. So all I really have to do is just put the coupler pockets in. So I'll do the first coupler pocket in the back. Actually, no, I'll do the one in the front because that's the one that was pain. I have magnetic screwdrivers, which really help. Of course, if your coupler pocket falls apart, well, there we go. Alrighty. Let's pick this little bugger up. Slide it in there. And turn the screw so it's nice and tight. And we'll come back here to the back of the locomotive pull out our other coupler pocket and when I take the coupler pockets out I take a thin strip of tape and wrap it around just so that it doesn't come apart while I'm working on other stuff because it's really annoying when these little couplers pop out of their spot And if you haven't already, be sure to check out one, part one, and part two of this video. To see what it looked like before all this was done. I'm going to see how I did it. This is going to be probably valuable, valuable information to a lot of you. At least that's the idea. So here we go. It's done. This is my Proto 2000 RS27. Now it has DCC and LEDs in it. So we'll set it on the track again here. And I'll put the other parts back in the box. So please leave comments guys, um, if you've watched all three parts, let me know what you think of this video. Um, this has been a pretty extensive how-to video that I've done, and uh, I want to get your input. That would all be greatly appreciated. The only reason this looked like it was really hard is because this locomotive has been taken apart before, and also the electrical tip I had had gotten warm and then um, basically it turned into double-sided tape which is very messy to work with but now that I'm done I should be able to put my CSX back together here well, it appears if I put the decoder in backwards Oh, wait, no, never mind. Alrighty, so, here we go. I'll move it over to this layout. Actually, I'll show you guys my SD45, and I'm going to program... 
show you how I program this. This right now is still on the address 9629 because I stole a little coder out of my steam engine. So I'm just going to pull my programming track up here. So I'll give this basically is a video on how to entirely get your Proto 2000 DCC um, equipped. And if you guys want me to do this for you, send me an email and uh, maybe we can work something out. I'm still pretty new at it, so I can't guarantee I'll do it for you. But I will um, see what I can do. Alright, well that should be written to the address 2402 now. So let's test them like 02402. Front and back it works. And now move it one last time. You're right up here. And as you can see those lights on there are very bright like my um, SD45 that I've done the same thing to. Which is right here. In fact, I'll stop that. And I'll switch these two trains here. I'll show you these running a bit and also I'll compare the lights for you. This can go right there. First, I'll do a quick light comparison and then I'll switch it around and show you this RS27 running. Come back over here, Loco 2402. Put it forward and turn the lights on. So, those are the lights. Um, it looks like the Proto. SD45 is a bit brighter, but those are definitely bright. They light up the number boards and all that. So let's switch this around again. Get 2402 some power. Moving here. Oh! It's not quite on the track. There we go. So this is the final video of how to install that to make your locomotive look bright and um, work on DCC with the lights burning, not burning out and melting your locomotive. That is always bad. So thank you for watching and be sure to look for more videos in the future.